Hey guys, today I filmed for you a blue, pop of blue. I don't know how easy it is to see right here, but there'll be some close-ups in a moment. Just a pop of blue under the eyes with some really beautiful lashes and a pretty unnatural, heavy contour. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this look. I did post a picture of it on my Instagram already in high quality with all of the products mentioned. Also, all the products will be mentioned in the description of this video if you'd like to know what they are, but I'll probably say them in the voiceover as well. I hope you guys like this look and I will see you soon. All right, so first I'm taking the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous foundation. And I am, I put it on my face like this. I probably shouldn't do it like this, but I just like to because it's so simple and easy. And then I just buff it in with a the Silk Finish Brush from Zoeva in a second. And um, you have to do the foundation mustache. Otherwise, your life ain't complete, girl. And um, like I said, I'm just buffing it into my skin with this brush. And I like this foundation. You guys should definitely give it a try. I did a full separate review on it. If you want to see that, I'll link in the description of this video. But it's an awesome foundation. Um, it just gives such a nice but natural coverage without looking too cakey or overly done. And then um, I am taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. And I am just patting it under my uh, lower eyes just to really brighten them up. I like the kind of dabbing patting motions for this. I like to use my finger rather than like a brush because I feel like it sucks up way too much product. And then after that, I am just going to set everything with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Um, and I'm just using my Zoeva big old fluffy brush for that. I don't know the name of it. I, I just can't remember. And then I take my fluffy brush. I think I'm using my Sigma E40 brush and the color Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And um, I'm just going to kind of use that as my transition color for blending out my eyeshadows. And then I take creme brulee on my Zoeva some kind of fluffy brush. I can't remember. I'll put everything in the description so you guys will know. Um, and I'm just sort of using that in my crease as a, another, I don't know, like darkening up the crease a little bit because I, I want kind of a more, more neutral top and then that pop of blue on the bottom. And then I'm taking Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and again with the same brush and I'm just sort of like deepening and darkening the crease and sort of just the more layers you do of these different shadows the deeper and prettier it's going to look and um so that's what I'm doing there and then I take my what is it called blink ultra thin liquid eyeliner pen I love this you guys it's seriously so amazing and I'm just doing a winged liner um, you can do your winged liner any way that it works for you this is how I like to do it it's just easier for me to create the line and then just sort of drag it inwards um, sometimes I have to clean up the edges as you see here I made the line way too long and in the next couple of shots you'll see like I had totally fixed the edge and it looks kind of blonde blombles and icky but um, I sort of fix up the edges here so I make it look a little more precise and edgy it looks fine at the end you can just do whatever you, you whatever works for your own eye and then um I liked because I wanted to make the color pop even more I'm using the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk and just lining my lower like underneath my lower lash line just so that I'm creating a really nice light base for the blue to go on top um and don't use too much of this otherwise it can get kind of creasy but I, it does work really well if you just kind of smudge it out and use a little bit of it and then I'm taking the color Neptune on my what is it petite crease brush um from zoeva and i'm just sort of dragging and smoking that along the lower bottom lash line you guys can obviously see what i'm doing like my voiceover i mean i don't know how helpful it is for me to sit here and tell you what i'm doing when you can see but um i like this brush for doing my lower lash line i feel like it does such a good job of just blending the color down and not making it look too harsh um and then I'm just taking like that brush, no additional product, just using like the product that was already on it, just to kind of blend the blue down with the brown into my lower line. You see how it kind of just gives a little bit more smokiness to it. I like the way that that looked. This is the turquoise color. It's the NYX retractable eyeliner. I can't think of the name. I think it's just turquoise blue. I really think that's it. Um, but I've used that on my waterline. You can use any blue pencil, but even though it's a different color blue, it actually turned out quite nice. And then I'm just using black on my tight line. And uh, yeah, so I added some more pop culture and shark bait to the lower lash line. I didn't show that step and I don't know why. But as you can see, like there's a little bit of purpley and greeniness to it. So um, then I'm just applying these eyelashes. These are the eyelashy flirty lashes. And um, 
just apply them to the actual to your lashes at the very very base as the best you can I mean just do the best you can guys I know it's hard to apply lashes but you get better with time I promise I've gotten so much better over the over the years I used to suck so much ass at applying lashes like it's ridiculous and that's the eye look done and then I'm sorry I'm holding a cat right now I can't do it Okay, sorry. Um, I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I think, I don't, did I contour her? Yeah, I did. Here's the Benefit Hula Bronzer as a contour. I use this a lot. You guys will notice that. But I thought it matched the color of the eyes really well to kind of give, like, warm up my look here. And then I am using the, what am I using? Oh, I'm still contouring. Because apparently I needed like a 30 second clip for that. Then I'm using the Mary Luminizer. And I like it on the Sigma E40 brush as well. Because it kind of concentrates the highlight. And doesn't make it so all over the face. It just keeps it on the very top of your cheekbones. So I like to use that little brush for that. And then... I'm going to do a full separate brow tutorial. I don't have one up just yet because I got a new Anastasia dip brow and it's a little soft for me right now. I like it a little more dried out because it, it makes me look a little like Bert and Ernie right now. But I will have a full tutorial on how I do my brows because people like the way they kind of fade. And um, so let me know if you guys would like to see that tutorial. They're so easy. So super easy. Then I just took the um, Better Than Sex mascara just to coat my lashes this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Vanilla Sky. And because I wanted kind of a nude lip for this, um, that that's that. And then I put it all over my lips. I sort of overdraw my lips a little bit because it makes my lips look bigger. And I just, I like the way it looks. So, you know, deal with it. I like it. I think it looks, I think it, it's kind of nice. And then this is the lipstick... I'm kind of nude something or other. I'll put, like I said, in the description. I'm sorry. It's a Maybelline one, nude something. Blushing beige. I just said it. Ha ha. And um, then <laughs> the OCC Lip Tar in Mine Air. Mine Air. Mine, mine Air. I, I don't, honestly don't know. But that's that's that over top. And I like it because it's so minty. Those are awesome. I like I love their lip glosses. And that's basically the finished look, guys. I realize there's like a red zit on my forehead, so don't even look at that red zit. But that's it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I have a picture of this up on my Instagram, and a lot of you guys said you wanted to see a tutorial on it. So, yeah, I hope it was everything you were hoping for. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to. And uh, I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is at Robbie D. Christie. I post on there a lot, almost every single day. Um, if you guys would like to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. There's a link down there. There's also going to be a link at the end of this video. And I hope you guys like this makeup look and leave any requests that you have in the comments of this video and I will try and get to those. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.